globalization has made supply chain management more complicated. For one, it involves lots of separate players handling different works, covering the upstream and downstream aspects of cultivation, processing, packaging, transportation, stockpiling, and so much more. Understandably, the involvement of these separate players handling separate functions will create discrepancies in records as well as data silos among them, making cross-process visibility and evaluation difficult. It also increases the end-to-end -end turnaround time for the fulfillment of the process. Because of the above-mentioned challenges, the current supply chain management system also suffers from a lack of transparency regarding the manufacturing process, resulting in the rampant circulation of counterfeit goods. Fortunately, the peer-to-peer -peer network, part of the blockchain technology, can help make supply chain management more efficient, tackling the above-mentioned challenges. I will discuss the issue in depth with our IT expert Adela Negara on the subject, so stay tuned and join us in our discussion. Okay, so can you explain how blockchain can potentially improve supply chain management? Well, with using blockchain, the peer-to-peer -peer network integrate and automate these processes while recording the entire process of the supply chain management, keeping track of the inventories and all the parties involved, covering it from end to end. All the inventories and all the record will be there permanently and cannot be taken down. Okay. So, uh, about security, what about the security of blockchain uh, in terms of supply chain management? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good question because although there is no such thing as perfectly secure system, but with using a uh, decentralized system, uh, it can prevent an attack because with using centralized system, if one server get hacked, then the entire server will go down. But with using the centralized way, uh, if one node get hacked, then it doesn't matter because each of the nodes are independent. So if you really want to attack the server, you have to at least attack half of it. Okay. Oh, no wonder many companies have adopt up, adopted blockchain for their supply chain management. Yeah. Can you uh, mm -hmm. name one example? Well, uh, in 2017, there is an outbreak in America about uh, E. coli and it, it affected the Roman lettuce, so a lot of people get affected to it. And in the same year, uh, Walmart, one of the biggest retailer in America, announced its uh, partnership with IBM to adopt blockchain in the supply chain management. Uh, with using this system in their uh, companies, it can prevent them to, you know, the contamination? Yeah, the food oh. contamination because it can allow them to backtrack which mm. of the process uh, are have a problem. Okay, to prevent similar contaminations mm -hmm. in the future, yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. And then apparently like Walmart is not the only one because like Carrefour, like another big retailer, has also adopted blockchain to improve their supply chain management to ensure the safety of their food produces, uh, especially like vegetables and fruits here, yeah, which can be prone to uh, contamination by bacteria. And then uh, several fast moving consumer goods brands such as Nestle and Unilever have also invested in blockchain to improve their supply chain management. So uh, apparently blockchain has also been used beyond just the um, fast moving consumer good or the retail industry but also in logistics yeah which yes. is that's yeah. a good fact okay. yeah yeah because like yeah logistics is obviously still related to food trade and food safety so uh, it improves the effectiveness of logistics mm -hmm. uh, by by sea by air and by land so yeah taking these factors into account not only because of the nature of the system itself and its security but also its application the future looks promising for a blockchain exactly. uh, and, uh, especially when in, when we, we talk about its application in supply chain management yeah more and more businesses have recognized its potential uh, in this area as well 
So a recent survey by Gartner revealed that by 2023, 30% of all manufacturing companies with more than 5 billion US dollar revenue will have implemented blockchain projects to manage their supply chain. So yeah, it looks promising, yeah? Okay, so that's all from us uh, for today. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And then, of course, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. Or if you would like to ask questions or suggest any topics that we should discuss in the future. Yeah, we'd we'll love to know more what you think. Uh, and we want to have an open discussion. So don't forget to comment down below. Yeah. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.